just want them to see a child, you know, Ooh. in the band and whatnot, doing their thing. You go there to actually listen to the band, mm -hmm. but you listen to that one sound. Yes, yes. So he on that exactly. piano, and that's probably all they hear. Yeah, that's... You know what I'm saying? It's normally, like, the first thing I hear. Yeah, yeah, I, don't I know love the other sound of the piano. Would. You actually play the piano. Y'all yeah, didn't know play, that, maybe, right? Maybe. What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Shots React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we are back with another American reaction. Yes, yes. Super excited about this video, guys. It is Black History Month. You heard it. And we are sharing a lot of good history Let's this get month. into it. Let's get All into right? it. <laughs> so if you're new to us and, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell, because we're, we're on the road to 100. 100. Okay, and we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. My dad was a railway porter. It was just about the only job a black man could get. But he had big plans for us. Music would be our ticket out of poverty. I knew we couldn't afford that piano, so I practiced twice as hard. Nice, Daisy. Okay, Oscar, let's hear it. Turns out, I wasn't half bad. Then I found jazz, or it found me. It wasn't all easy, though. I faced a lot of hate, but I found my stage. They call me the man with four hands. Well, I don't know about that, but let's see how far this ticket takes me. From Montreal to Carnegie Hall and far beyond, I just wanted to see a child, you know, Ooh. in the band and whatnot, doing their thing. You go there to actually listen to the band, mm -hmm. but you listen to that one sound. Yes, yes. So he on that exactly. piano, and that's probably all they hear. Yeah, that's... You know what I'm saying? It's normally, like, the first thing I hear. Yeah, yeah, I, don't I know love the other sound of the piano. You actually play the piano. Yeah. Y'all didn't know that, right? She got you know, three I'm, hands. I'm a Jill of three... Yeah, I only got three. She got three I only hands. Know a little bit. I know nursery She's around. teaching me. Yeah, I know a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> became one of the most recorded and celebrated jazz musicians of all time. That's awesome. I Man. love what he said about um, about his daddy. He knew his dad couldn't um, afford it. Right. So he played extra hard. I mean, that's what it's, that's how it's supposed to be. But for a child, you know what I'm saying? I think it was growing up in that environment, realizing mm -hmm. that this is not the the end for us we have to get out of this situation yeah. i see my yeah. parents working hard let me contribute mm -hmm. got my 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 man a computer ugh, i mean a piano and he went in yeah and i feel like you know growing up in the households that we've grown up in mm -hmm. you know we're hard working people and we make the best of our situation the best of the opportunities that we have look at it like we met an up around yeah you know we we did what we had to do to get where we wanted to be right 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 and that's good i'm glad that he you know, broke them barriers. That's what I'm talking about. Up there in Canada. When he was only 16, Richard Pierpoint was enslaved in Senegal and taken to America. Ooh, 16 years old. All us men have sworn on this petition to fight. You're an old man. The British Army has militias and trained soldiers. I fought with the British during the American Revolution. Take your land and farm it. Leave the Americans to us. With respect, sir. I was born a free man, and I intend to die one. Your officers fight for land and money. I fight for my freedom. Well, Richard Pierpoint was one of thousands of black loyalists who won their freedom in the American Revolution. 30 years later, at the age of 68, he petitioned for an all-black unit that would defend Upper Canada during the War of 1812. All righty now. Man. I like what he said. I do. <laughs> Baby, look. We ain't taking no handouts. I don't need you to fight for me. I'm fighting for me. <laughs> yeah, he has all reasons, of course. Um, I, I'm just like in awe about the age. Mm -hmm. That he was still able to do what he needed to do at the age. Yeah. He was at. That's big, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You know one thing? I think that's been... 
not really controversial, but we received some comments time from t time to time of people saying don't refer to the United States as America or or I, don't I think know. I heard that before. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that is interesting because you know, in the United States of America, nobody going around <laughs> on, mm. the, on the average day saying, oh, I live in the United States of America. We'll either say the U.S., the, US. the United States, right. or just America. Some people it's, don't want to hear that, though. Yeah, it's it's not us being ignorant to, you know, living on the North American continent or, you know, South America. That's It's not... For some people, they'll be like, where are you from? They want you to say North America, South America. Who about to say North America? Right. And they'll be like, oh, where at? <laughs> In the U.S. Okay, but where at? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, yeah. We just get straight to it. Like, we, just, we say yeah. the U.S. down there in South Louisiana, bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Type of but, stuff. But it's, 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 what can I say? It When they said he came to America, and then they said Upper Canada, I, I just got to, you know, put my mind... In the minds of people abroad. Yeah, yeah. So, my question to you guys. What do y'all say when y'all reference the United States? Do y'all say the United States of America? Do y'all say the United States? We say Canada. Like, when we're going to like, Canada, yeah, we'll we just say, say Canada. Canada. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Interesting. Hopefully it's like the US. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Ricky. Boys, I want you to meet someone. Outstanding athlete, the former second lieutenant in the United States Army, and your new second baseman, Jackie Robinson. Whoa. Hi, gentlemen. You made no ball to play for you. And now batting for the... In Canada? In Canada. Y'all had Jackie Robinson in Canada before he came to the U.S.? Hmm. Okay, so, so, hold up. Because wow, the introduction, okay. Okay. he didn't introduce him. As, oh, this is Jackie Robinson from the United States. Yeah, yeah. So, look, this is history we did not learn about. Facts, We yeah. learned about Jackie Robinson and what he meant to the United States, but we didn't know he was making history twice. Twice. I'm talking about knocking him out the park. Canada. Yeah, <laughs> let's get into it, though. Le deuxième vue, the second baseman, Jackie Robinson. Hold up, wait a minute, y'all. Hold up. I just thought about something. I had thought about something too. Now you know, you know, we 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 like to teach our children outside of school things. And there's a Jackie Robinson book, and I do remember seeing something about Canada. Yeah. In the book. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like a tiny line. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't like a big paragraph, you know. But it's these are still things that need to be talked about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he played in Canada and that's big. Actually yeah. introduced in Canada. I mean, yeah, when he was yeah and, and I think that's how the book was worded that he played in the United States and Canada, but it didn't mm. say before here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Record numbers of cheering Montrealers helped Jackie Robinson break baseball's color bar that year. He never forgot the city that launched his journey to baseball's Hall of Fame. Aww. So did, so did, so did. <laughs> One thing about um, a lot of these uh, black men and women that came from our history is that, you know, again, like the, like the gentleman who's playing the piano, mm -hmm. they came from a time where they knew they had to give their all into something to be yeah, yeah. something in life because it was always looked down on. You mm -hmm. feel me? And I just think that's how today's society should operate as well. Definitely. Always put your all into something at a very young age mm -hmm. so that when it's time for you to step up, you could perform at your, you know, in your prime. Mm -hmm. In your prime, prime I feel like today our society is a little bit spoiled, a little bit privileged. I feel like we don't give the amount of the amount of willpower the amount of confidence mm -hmm. as they did back in the day now there are some of us who do you know who make the most of our opportunity in the lives that we are given but there's others who just give up too fast right coming up i didn't see a lot of the stuff that I see now in the age bracket that mm -hmm. I was once in. Mm -hmm. The age bracket I was in, we was all in school doing what we yeah. got to do. Yeah. You know, in the street, doing doing this and the third. But now, now, it's like, yo, they 
on a whole nother level. Definitely. On a whole nother level. Definitely. Who's stopping them? I mean, I'm just, just saying. I feel like social media is a blessing and a curse. Hey, y'all, I try to stay off of social media. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to be real with you. Mm -hmm. If you look at your analytics, like your For You pages and all that stuff, they're going to feed you things they find that may interest you, and you may not be interested in that type of stuff. So I just try to yeah. get myself into other operations and do other things. But yeah. Me as well. So we hope you guys enjoy these videos with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks. If you would like to support the channel that way, as well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel, send in your reaction request through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.